these door skins, they have a little bit of movement in them. So I have a Toyota RAV4 here. This one got hit in this left front corner. It's getting a new hood, new bumper, new fender, headlight, along with a bunch of other parts in this corner. And then it also gets this piece of the upper tie bar, as well as a couple brackets right there and right just like that and then I have to repair this apron back in here which I will do after I cut all this apart and then it also gets a new door skin which is just this outer panel on the door I will get to that in a little bit though first I'm gonna go ahead and cut this structure out repair the apron and get the new pieces on this So I'm going to do some side to side comparisons to make sure this is sitting where it's supposed to be before I fit all the parts. My length looks perfect. I'm going to check the length in one more spot. I'm going to scoot that just a hair. That looks good now. Now I'm gonna do some X measurements. That looks good. Now I'm gonna do one more X. Perfect. So I have this one all fit together in my headlight, the hood and the fender. Everything is lining up good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the headlight and the fender back off and get these brackets, this bottom bracket welded on and get this part of it finished up. Now I have this post. I have to do a little bit of repair work on a few spots and then I will get into the door skin. onto this door skin. I have the new skin sitting right here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one cut off and then I will start prepping out and getting the new one on. So I have this door all fit up with the new door scan. Got it lining up nice and I had held the fender up to it as well. These door scans, they have a little bit of movement in them. So I put, I put some sheet metal screws in the four corners to make sure it goes back exactly where it's sitting. So I'm going to lift this back off and lay out my panel bond and then I'll put those screws back in the same holes and then I'll make sure it's sitting right where I have it. Now I have to go ahead and seam seal this 
seam where the door skin folds around the shell. So I'm gonna go ahead and scuff it up and tape it off.